Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I'm Manjeet Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of uh, how to become system administrator. And in previous class of how to become system administrator, we talked about how to install active directory domain services in server 2022. Now, this is another class of active directory domain services because you know that if you really want to perform the task as a system administrator, senior system administrator, admin uh, you can say that the server operating system is really important for a, each and every profiles. So, in this class, I'm going to guide you about uh, how many objects and containers are available in Active Directory Domain Services. So, let me move ourselves to the screen and show you the proper practical, how to set up our object, how many types of containers are available. So, each and every uh, topic we are going to cover. So, I am moving myself to the screen, but before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical based video without skip any step, right? So, first of all, let us try to understand about the concept theoretical part of uh, the container, domain containers and objects. So, let me give you this is our kind of uh, server 2022 machine that we established, right? And in server 2022, we already set up our domain controller with name of cloud.com. In the cloud.com, we can find two things. You can say that one is objects and another is containers. So, you should know about how many types of objects and how many types of containers are available. Because as a system administrator, it's our responsibility we should know about the number of objects and how we can manage these objects and number of containers which are available. So, objects are like as a users, then uh, you can say that groups also a type of object, then computer is also type of object, another important part, shared folder, yes, shared folder, you can, you can consider it as a uh, kind of uh, uh, objects and the last one is printer. These all five different are considered as a object and in case of containers, the first one is domain, the domain name like we already installed a domain with name of cloud.com. So, cloud.com is a type of container. Second, sites, we can create sites, Num multiple sites we can create. Number third, you can also configure the organizational unit. So, these three different types of uh, uh, containers are available in Active Directory Domain Services and five objects are available. As a system administrator, it's our responsibility we should know about what are the features are available in the user's properties, how we can manage group, how many types of groups are available, computers, use, use case of computer, share folder and printers. So, I am moving myself to the, the setup like that we established. This is our server 2022. And let me open our Active Active Domain Services. We just need to open Server Manager Dashboard. And over Server Manager Dashboard, we just need to click on Tools. Go to the Active Active User and Computers. It will redirect you on this particular page. Guys, this is the panel. Uh, you can see that this is the page where we can manage the objects and containers. We are able to find users that contain the information about the users and group. We have a multiple way to create user. Just right click on the black space, blank space, go to the new and it gives us option to create computer, create contact, create a group and you can add printer, add shared folder and users as well. So, let me start from the user because this is really important for us. We must need to know about the use cases of users. I'm going to create a user with name of Telnet. Okay, this is the username and with the help of this particular user, we are going to manage our client operating system. So, the number of client machines which are available in the environment by using this particular domain controller username or user ID and password, we are able to uh, control and manage our client computer. All good. Three different, four different options are available whenever we create a user in Active Directory Domain Services. On the panel of password, where we need to provide the password for this user, it will give you four different options. First one is user must change password at next login. In the production environment, you always check mark, right? Because you need to share the temporary username and password with, uh, with, with our employee, with our engineer, because they are responsible to reset their own password. So, you must need to check mark. 
User cannot change password if you don't want to allow SSPR service for the particular user, for the, for the, for the Active Directory user, you must need to check mark it. Password never expire if you don't want to configure any kind of password age policy. So you just need to check mark it. It means that means the password that we are trying to use, it is applicable for permanent, but this is not a good practice. You always put your password for 90 days, for 180 days, three months are three months are maybe six months okay account is disabled it is a temporary blocking system if you don't want to allow your user to log in their self with the help of active active user so you just need to click on uh, account disabled i'm not going to check mark anything because we are trying to understand about we are trying to understand about the options which are available in the active active users properties right click on our user account tell it right click and it gives us some multiple options we are able to find copy add to a group disable account reset password uh, and move home page send all tasks cut delete uh, rename and properties multiple options are available so sometime interviewer will ask you question do you have an experience of user onboarding and offboarding so whenever we create a user account and password for any new employee consider as a onboarding Whenever we delete the user account or disable our user account for a few days, like as a as per the company policy, we we are not authorized to delete any user. If or if 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 employees left uh, organization, so immediately we no need to delete the user account. After thirty days, after sixty days, according to the policy, you need to delete it. So whenever we delete the user account and information from the portal from the Active Directory services, consider as a uh, user offboarding. Okay. So let's start from the very basic right click and we are able to find the option of copy. So the question related to the copy, uh, maybe interviewer will ask you, for example, I created a user with name of A and I wanted to create an, another user with name of B, but A is already contained lots of information. Lots of information in the sense I'm talking about delegated from the printer administrator, delegated from schema admin, delegated for the enterprise administrator. And I want to copy the entire permission or entire delegation that you assign to the A user. I wanted to copy the all information or all rights to the B user. So that time you can just say you need to describe about the meaning of copy. Copy can help us to copy the all properties of our user account existing user account properties in the sense like as a if the user is member of our enterprise administrator group if the user is member of install application and remove application then definitely the another user that you are going to create definitely become the part of same permission let me give you one real example i'm going to make it member of uh, backup operator see this is domain user i'm just going to make it member of backup operator okay and also i wanted to make it group policy creator owner right so uh, we successfully added two existing group one is uh, backup operator and another is group policy creator owner if you want to create if you want to copy the same permission with the, the another user that you are going to create right click click on copy i wanted to create another user with name of gcp right so gcp is a new user but we are trying to create gcp with the help of copy option because we want to we want to copy the each and every permission and delegation services that we assign to the telnet i want same same permission for the gcp users so that is why we created with the help of copy option if you check go to the member of and it will give you the complete information see backup operator and group policy creator on all the information all the rights successfully we copied to the another user gcp i hope you guys are okay and understand about the importance of copy option cool let's proceed with another option right click on our user account we are able to find one other option another option which is add group multiple built-in group and multiple group we can create by self right so the important part yes we are authorized to add our user for example this is cloud.com domain controller right and in the cloud.com we already created uh, one user with name of telnet and multiple groups are available right 
multiple groups are available like as a backup is a type of group and uh, application installation is also type of group and one more group I am just going to create with the name of network operator. Multiple groups are available and whenever we right click on our user and click on the add to the group it means that you want to make your user member of these groups and this one of the important part you can add same user yes telnet will become the part of backup you can add it with the application you can add with our network operation as well means single user we can add to the member of multiple groups that we created all right so once we assign the rights to the user it means that your user will can will also perform the same task like backup operator can application management and network operation activity as also right so this is the basic information this is all about the part of group we'll discuss about when we discuss about it so let's proceed with the next I hope you guys are uh, able to understand about the concept. So, so that's it for today. So guys, we'll connect tomorrow and discuss more about AD management. Take care. Bye-bye. Do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye, guys.